Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading and the free audio program, the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders, are both free downloads to help you develop the skill set, the mindset, the discipline to master the markets. The link is down below in the box, the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, and congratulations to several traders who compounded their accounts today on the high of week low of day fantastic opportunity on gold there were trade set best trade setups on canadian dollar the euro the pound swiss franc japanese yen oil and index futures there was opportunities everywhere today i'm going to review this trade today I'm going to do a brief overview on the other pairs, but I'm going to talk about this setup and, and try to hammer home the significance of this setup and its recurrence. We'll walk back through the process okay, and understanding all trades are either pump and dumps or dump and pumps. The opening range and initial balance. Major importance if you understand the process from the beginning of the week. How you can identify best trade setups. The difference between a three-day setup an opening range for the new week and a new template setup and a day three breakout trader opportunity. And sometimes they'll all coincide together inside day opportunities and the importance of first red day, first green day. The more you master the process, the more confidence you will have to identify a best trade setup and also the confidence to know when to hold on and size into something versus knowing when to take the trade and as a session scalp to take the money and run and when you can scale in get out and get back in on a day that's all in in one direction so coming back to our process we had just rehashing our opening range for the week it was on monday we did not take out the low of friday i do not count that bar at the beginning of the day as a break a breakout or a failed breakout that is just nothing to me uh <clears throat> so we had day one, day two was our initial balance. Day three, we had a failed breakout at the high of the week. And I talked about this. Uh, one trader asked, he didn't understand the significance of the trade yesterday. That was a three-day setup, three-session setup. And we had a break in structure in the first hour of our U.S. window. Break in structure on the inside. That market moved prior to the window opening. It did not trade back to the high of the week. It traded down to the low of the day for the London session. That is the formula for pump and dump. So just coming back to timing, one, two, three candles, that's 45 minutes, one, two, three, up into our peak formation high, our lower high, that gave our 50 plus pip blow off yesterday in the New York session. The whole point, escalator up, elevator down, and as I highlighted, uh, day three high of week, failed breakout, London first hour, US breaking structure, low hanging fruit, pump and dump, that's a three day setup, on page 31, low hanging fruit, page 96, pump and dump, page 18, three levels of rise, a three session setup for the collapse on page 37. But that didn't follow through. It put a low in and pumped back up before coming back up today. So I had my levels at the breakout of Tuesday's high as a potential area still where we could fail, uh, we could pump back up into this. Uh, high in the gap time and fail. We had a high bull major resistance possibly, but it's always about how does price behave when it gets there and what time is it? So I repeat, just because something is at the higher or the low of the day doesn't mean that we get in. You need to have a setup. So we have a London high and a US session low. Do you notice anything about this? We have a lower high of the day in the US window heading into our new day. So that's our high of the day. They broke out of that though. They broke out of that and made a higher high. But our high of the week is still intact. So how does price behave when it gets there? Now I use my one minute charts, but for the purposes of the playbook, I made everything for universal entry on five minute because a lot of traders were not happy or comfortable with the one minute. Once you master this on the five minute, you'll understand that the one minute and five minute are irrelevant. It's about the setup and the levels. That's it. So once you understand that you have a setup and an entry, it's about getting in, putting your stop in place, and then knowing is this a session scalp or is this a sizable, scalable, larger opportunity. And that comes from your confidence will come from accomplishment. And that 
comes from repeating a best trade setup day in and day out until you're confident in terms of flawlessly executing your plan, being prepared, being prepared when you come to the screen, not like looking at it and going, is oh, this is going long, I'm going long. What are your levels? What are your thesis? What's the day count? So coming back, we have a three-day setup that didn't follow through, but guess what we also have? We had our Monday opening range. They popped the top on Tuesday for our initial balance. They broke out and failed on Wednesday. They went back one more time today. One, two, three. Three-day breakouts. And we also have, on the day itself, three levels of 50. 50, 50, and 50. Four, three levels of rise on the day. Asia, London, New York. Three levels of rise. We have, we'll mark this off so everybody can see it. We have, they've come down and put a low in place. They put a low in place in that first 30 minutes. Then they proceed to one, two, three levels of rise. They broke out of the high of the week. The first hour puts a high in place. The first hour puts a high in place. The second hour opens and immediately engulfs our high bull and we have our micro M structure put in place. That's potentially an area for a starter. No major red news on the schedule for the U.S. session. I repeat, no major red news. And I'll repeat this again. When there's no major red news on the calendar, I will trade it as per normal. We are at the high of the week. We have a break in structure at our double zero box. We have just gone up and broken out, had three levels of rise. The second hour opens and breaks down. No major red news on the calendar. The market goes sideways in three pushes right to the end of the 30 minute mark at the New York Open before engulfing for our entry into the trade. This market explodes vertically to the low of the session at the Open of New York. Now, I also have talked about the ramped volume on the way up. When you identify ramped volume that's running away, that is the dead giveaway that this is going to collapse. Draw your line underneath where the volume collects. They're trapped. They will not come back. The market pushes up into that level, into the end of the second hour before taking out the low. They pump it up at the beginning of the third hour. I draw my line on my high bull candle. Lo and behold, at the end of the 15 minute candle, we have another engulfment of the high bull at the double zeros for a continuation re-entry into a high of the week, low of the day, scalable best trade setup. So this is an opportunity that when you understand third day three breakouts, false break of the high of the week, the high is locked in. There's no major red news on the calendar. We've had three levels of rise. We've broken out of the high. The next target is the low of the day. Do not counter trend. Do not counter trend these trades. They are not coming back. This could potentially end up as our first red day. No idea what's going to happen tomorrow. We have major red news at 10 a.m. New York uh, for prelim U of M. But this was a textbook scalable best trade setup. Okay, we'll just go to our master template to make this a bit easier. At first for Swiss franc, we had our opening range. Okay, coming back to process. So I'm not going to go into Monday. You know, so again, there the th three day setups are separate from opening range. An initial bounce that gives you a thesis in the new template for the new week for a best trade setup three three level three session setups can happen on any day three day setup could happen in on a Monday but we have our opening range once Monday trades Monday Tuesday forms our initial balance we have a first red day day one breakouts on Tuesday day two breakouts on our Wednesday and day three breakouts at the low of the week on Thursday. 
to go through the low of the day, we redraw our levels. The market breaks out in the beginning of the U.S. session before giving us a micro W, a micro W into the beginning of the New York Open. Right at the New York Open, we have our engulfment. Day three breakouts, a three session setup, three levels of drop for our universal five minute entry criteria at the quarter level. And this trade has just now hit a 50 pip target. There's no reason for traders to have gotten out of this trade. First target obviously is the lower high of the day, traded right through that to the high of the day and onwards through to the high of the previous day. Low of the week failed breakout to high of the day. Uh, textbook perfect best trade setup. Okay, the Canadian dollar was very similar, but I just want to kind of go through these quickly. You can go through your own charts and you need to go through this process. I want to talk about the Japanese yen. We had first red day yesterday that did not eventuate into a trade setup. So again, uh, first red day is a high of the day, high of the session opportunity. It gave that trade in the Europe London window for an easy uh 35 to 45 pip move might have even got their 50 depending on their fill uh, that was a perfect setup but that reversed and did not roll over i thought it might mimic what it did the night before break down and drop again uh, it didn't do that but we did get a false breakout in the asian session of the inside day which was a stop on a, up into the first red day shorts from the u.s session Failed breakout, three levels of rise. i repeat this. We'll keep going through the same thing. Three sessions, London. Okay, we have 25, 25, and then a false breakout that failed. Three levels of rise and three sessions. London put in the low of the day. U.S. put in the high of the day, but it continued higher in the Asian session before failing. That death line area above 75 gave traders... A short trade. Remember the inside bar trade. Inside day, false breaks and trend trades. Page 69. For the low hanging fruit blow off into the low of the week. Now repeat this as well. Low of the week, high of the week, low of the day, high of the day. Take precedent all over all other things once those levels are broken. Similar to the Swiss franc, we had the micro W, short and W reversal and our universal entry criteria met at the just into the New York session right at the failed breakout level low of the week back to high of the day that was the low of the week back to high of the day the inside bar trade took out the low so remember they triggered inside bar traders into the market those traders were trapped the next obvious target is the previous day's low which was the low of the week that breakout failed into our US window and we had our reversal trade opportunity at the low of the week for a easy 50 pip plus move back through the high of the day. I just want to talk about the pound for a second then. You can go through your other charts because all of them gave the similar trade opportunities. The S&P, the NASDAQ, they all gave high of day selling opportunities. The pound was an opportunity. We had day one failed breakout on Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, we had triggered the, on the reversal triggered breakouts that closed as a first green day triggered breakouts before pulling back that false break reversal day one day two triggered day two longs and then today after news during the London session major red news for the pound they broke out higher but it was the the breakout gap that caught my eye day three and they've moved 50 pips outside of the high of the day now no major red news for the U.S. session on the calendar. Just come back to some simple logic. They put in a, uh, a higher low in the gap time, but we've come up 25, 25, 25. Maybe I'll get something uh, around 75. They traded through that on the front side of the move. They traded through that on the front side of the move in the first hour. But then they went into consolidation and broke down, pumped it back up, before breaking structure. So I want to I want to just say something very important. This engulfment is not a short. People are trying to short this. This all that is is a high, a high of the day. They might keep going right through that. They go back up to the high and that lower double top may not even hold, but they break structure at the end of the second hour. They break structure at the end of the second hour after three levels of rise. 
and we have a breakout gap. So breakout traders have not been stopped out. They're in the money. And remember what I keep repeating. Nobody gets a free lunch. We have ramped volume on the way up. They break structure. We're now on the back side of the move. First starter position is up top on the engulfment into the third hour. Remember, levels. We're looking at the level now. We've already potentially got the high of the day locked in. They've broke structure. The pump and the dump for the short trade at the, at the level itself, the quarter level. We're into the third hour. Nobody gets a free lunch. The market breaks down. And as I mentioned to one trader, the, this is the all-in type of fade. Very difficult sometimes to hold on to. Very difficult to question whether you should be in or not because it moves slowly and grinds its way back down. It, it tricks traders into getting out of a winning trade. It tricks traders to being fearful of getting into the trade. And it, it tricks traders of wondering and guessing whether they should be in or out or trying to counter trend the trade. But again, having your thesis and understanding what this gap meant. No major red news. There's a breakout gap. That means this thing is probably going to come back and get traders who are in the money. Now, this still could go a lot further. Maybe tomorrow in Asia, I have no idea. It could go back up. But if this breaks down, breakout traders are now caught. And most likely their stops are at the low of the current day. I, I have no idea. I'm not suggesting this is a trade thesis. But talking about today's trade, three levels of rise, consolidation, break and structure, break and structure on the inside, pump and dump. Break and structure on the inside, pump and dump. 450 plus pip move back down. Took a while, but still gave traders their 50 pips. Congratulations, Ross. He nailed that trade. Uh, there's nothing new under the sun. So go back through your playbooks, study them. It's, it glues itself together. Each day glues to the one before. Hindsight pays. Be patient. Know what a best trade setup is. Know how important the time of day is. Know how important it is if there's no major red news on the calendar. Know how important it is if they false break the high of the week on day three breakouts. Everything is in the playbook to give you an opportunity for a scalable, sizable trading business. You need to master the patience and the discipline. Impatience and impulsiveness will get you chasing candle movement. Stepping back and understanding the big picture of the template will make you a lot of money. You need to master the process and then master your skill set in live time in terms of execution, risk management, knowing when to either scale in to a sizable opportunity or scale out with profits and hold on to trailers, know when a market has potential to continue to move and know when it's just a session scalp to lock in the money and get off the screen. Hanging around, looking to catch moves or counter trend or snag pips or catch pips and all that sort of stuff is a mentality that eventually will bite you. It will bite you and potentially blow up your account. Stick to running your trading business. Your playbook is the blueprint to build your business on. Keep it simple, traders. Keep getting better. Congratulations, because today was, uh, you know, this is as good as it gets. Uh, that was a sizable, scalable opportunity for traders. I know some traders made a significant percentage on their account today. Congratulations. Keep it going. Keep it growing. 1% better every single day, no matter what. And may the markets go with you.